Hello and warm greetings. I am here to present you the English news. The Afghan intelligence chief Masum Sanakzani says at least nine people have been arrested in connection to the recent deadly attacks in Kabul city. Sanakzani informed regarding the arrest of the suspects as he was briefing the media regarding the recent attacks in the city, specifically yesterday's deadly car bombing. He said five people have been arrested in connection to the Intercontinental Hotel attack while four others have been held over yesterday's car bombing. According to him, one of the suspects involved in the attack in the Intercontinental has managed to flee the country. The Afghan Minister of Interior, Wais Ahmad Barmak, says the death toll from yesterday's side attack has climbed to at least 103 people. Taliban's Deputy Shadow District Chief killed in Nangarhar province. A Deputy Shadow District Chief of the Taliban group was killed during an operation of the Afghan forces in Israel Nangarhar province of Afghanistan. According to the local officials, the Deputy Shadow District Chief of the group for Sarai Road was killed during an operation of the Special Forces of the National Directorate of Security. The provincial government media offices in a statement confirmed the killing of Hari Dawood during a night raid of the Special Forces. The statement for the added that the operation was conducted late on the Saturday night in Sarai Road District and as a result two militants were also arrested. At least four others were also held on suspicion of having links with the militant groups from the same district. The provincial government's office added that the government or militant groups including the Taliban insurgents have not commented regarding the report so far. Authorities in Kabul on Sunday hanged the kidnappers and killers of a two-year-old boy who was murdered in the city in a kidnap for a ransom case last year. Informed security sources say that three individuals were hung to death in Kabul's Polacharhi prison earlier today. The source for the added that the three men were sentenced to death by the relevant courts and the verdicts were implemented today. The 12-year-old Abbasin was kidnapped from Kabul city nearly two years ago by a group of kidnappers who were apparently demanding a large sum of ransom for his release. An intense armed confrontation broke out on Sunday between forces loyal to the saudi backed Yemeni government and forces allied with Southern Transitional Council in the port city of Aden. Residents and officials told Zinaha the fighting erupted after strict decisions issued by the government to ban peaceful demonstrations organized by the SDC in Aden province. A resident in Aden said that force of the Presidential Guard unit deployed in Aden and opened fire against anti-government protesters injuring more than 15. In response, the armed force of the SDC deployed on the streets and tried to protect the protesters, sparking fierce armed confrontation with the government soldiers in Aden district of Khor Maxor. Witnesses near the Sen confirmed the channel that army base of the government were seized by the SDC soldiers following hours of clashes. Explosions and heavy gunfire could be heard ranging out across Aden's main streets, according to the channel reporters in the city. Thank you for joining the English News. Good night. Bye.